Hey, War Gamers, Purple Druid presents Miniature Monday. Thanks for coming by, watching. And uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Earlier today, I got some inspiration from a comment on one of my YouTube videos for Fistful of Lead, Bigger Battles, where one of the commenters mentioned that the table looked cluttered because of all the counters and chits that were on there and how he uses uh, miniatures and themed markers. And I thought to myself, why, why don't I ever do that? So what I did was I sat down with some wooden chits and I had a few of these little resin uh, cracked earth markers. And these are just the uh, 25 millimeter plywood squares that I use for all sorts of things. And I'll tell you what, these are the most versatile tool in my crafting toolbox. Um, I went to the bits box and I found some skeleton parts and I got a hold of some of the testers model putty. And let's just start from the beginning here. So I used the model putty and I made some little craters. And so yeah, I think you can see there, is that in focus? Let me get my hand out of there. Um, just a couple spins around and made a little crater, mashed it down and I painted those green. And then I used to fill them in, I painted them with the Vallejo earth texture. Oh, there we go. That didn't focus now, which you can see it's kind of gritty and grainy and looks like mud. So that looks pretty cool. These look like little shell craters or something along those lines. And then I shaded them with Agrax earth shade. So gives it a little bit of darkness there in the center. I'll dry brush the edges just to lighten those up and that'll really give it some depth. And so I think these will make good shock markers or um, at least shock markers for Fistful of Lead. And I can potentially use them with other games as well. Now, these Cracked Earth bases actually turned out pretty well, too. These are going to get flocked. Um, and I think they'll look pretty cool. And these can probably be, be used for shock markers as well. Maybe I'll use the craters for ones and I'll use these for fives because I know sometimes they get pretty high up there. Uh, I also made some casualty markers with these little skulls. So with one skull like this, it's going to count as one casualty. And the little bag of parts that I had had some extra bones in it like arms and such like this. So this will be two. And this one here, when it's painted, this will be three. And then what do we got here? These half ones here with just a rib cage on, these will be four. And then these here with the vertical rib cages, these will count as five. So I've got a pretty good number of those, about 20 casualty markers. And I think this will look real nice on the tabletop. So thanks for watching. Again, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments or want to learn more about these counters, leave a comment down below. Thanks and keep on gaming.